Who is Archon? The most enigmatic figure of the 90s wars in Yugoslavia, he's most famous for having a paramilitary organization called the Tigers. Besides this, he also owned a soccer team, had his own political party, had nine kids by five different women, and was married to the biggest pop star in Serbia. Jelko Rajnatovic Arkon was born in 1952 into a strict officer's family in communist Yugoslavia. At a young age, he rebels and starts a life of crime with groups of Yugoslavian thieves and gangsters who operated in Western Europe. Traveling across Europe, from Italy to Germany and Sweden, Arkon's specialty was robbing jewelry stores, and he became known for leaving a rose after every heist. Arkon builds an organized group around himself, and his notoriety catches the attention of the Yugoslavian Secret Service, who contracts him, along with many other top Yugoslav and Serbian criminals, to carry out assassinations of enemies to the state. In return, Arkon is granted diplomatic immunity, fake passports, and help in dangerous situations, like Arkon's many prison escapes, once even shooting his way out of a courtroom. By the early 1980s, Arkon is on Interpol's most wanted list, and he returns to Serbia, where he opens up an ice cream shop, investing in businesses throughout Belgrade, quickly becoming one of the richest men in Yugoslavia. After the death of Tito in 1980, nationalism begins to rise, and Yugoslavs start expressing it through sports. In 1989, Arkon forms the supporter group for the soccer club Red Star Belgrade, called the Delier, or Heroes. As tensions begin to rise between the different ethnic groups in Yugoslavia, in 1981 and 1992 civil wars declared in Croatia and Bosnia, and from the basis of the Delia, Archon forms a Serb Volunteer Guard, or the Tigers, to act as an elite fighting force and assist the Yugoslav National Army, also known as the JNA, in keeping Yugoslavia together. Unlike the JNA, who were undisciplined and often drunkards, Archon's Tigers were clean-shaven, well-trained, and not allowed to touch alcohol. Archon brings in a Serb from the French Foreign Legion, Milorad Ulamek, better known as Legia, to train the Tigers and establish strict discipline. Although Archon doesn't have any military experience, he wins battles against Croats around the village Borovo Selo. And his units are the first to enter the city Bjejna in Bosnia, successfully eliminating the Muslim forces. During this time, Archon enters politics, creating the party of Serbian unity. By this time, Arkon is already a household name in the former Yugoslavia, a regular in the Serbian media, and feared by many of Serbia's enemies. In 1995, Arkon gets a divorce from his wife and marries the famous pop star Tsetsa in a lavish wedding costing millions of euros. However, later that year, Croatia makes an invasion of the Croatian Serbs in the Krajina Republic, and the Croatian army begins to invade Bosnia. Arkon re-enters war, and amidst retreating Bosnian Serb forces, Arkon's Tigers give a strong resistance to the Croatian Muslim armies, preventing them from conquering the Republic of Srpska. Quickly, the Dayton Peace Agreement is signed, and war is ended. Arkon returning to Belgrade as a war hero and public icon. Arkon also has a high reputation in the Serbian underworld, having monopolized the oil and cigarette smuggling operations during the wars and owning several clubs and casinos throughout Belgrade, he's considered untouchable. In 1996, Arkon buys a defunct Belgrade soccer club, Obilic, and with investments and his underworld influences, grows the team into a top club, rivaling Red Star Belgrade within one year winning the Serbian Cup in 1997 and going to the Champions League tournament in 1998. By this time, conflict begins in Kosovo, and Arkon becomes a popular topic in BBC and CNN news programs, 
depicting him as a war criminal and behind ethnic cleansing in Kosovo. When the NATO bombing starts in 1989, Archon is found at the Intercontinental Hotel in Belgrade, holding interviews for Western journalists, stating his protests to the bombing and demonization of the Serbs, and showing that he's in fact not in Kosovo. During the bombing, Archon is indicted by the Hague War Crimes Tribunal for alleged war crimes. However, much suspicion is raised as to why the indictment was made so long after the Bosnian War and whether it was a political move. Archon at this point is one of the most powerful figures in Serbia, holding hundreds of millions of dollars in assets, strong connections to Serbian Mafia groups in Western Europe, and with his own private militia and political party, he was viewed by many as holding more sway than even the Serbian president Slobodan Milosevic. On the 15th of January, 2000, Archon is assassinated in the Intercontinental Hotel in Belgrade. Three gunmen kill Archon and his bodyguards at their table, one bodyguard managing to shoot an assassin in the back on his way out, crippling him. Archon's death is front page news in Serbian as well as Western media. His funeral being attended by thousands. Who ordered his assassination is still a matter of mystery, some saying it was underworld conflict, while others that it was President Milosevic himself, fearing that Archon had become too powerful and would possibly testify against him in The Hague. Today, Archon is survived by his nine children, two of them by the pop singer Tsetsa whose biggest hits are said to be about him, which he sings in packed stadiums to this day. If you enjoyed this video, please click below and support this channel with a donation on our Patreon page.